victorious ones, I want you to remember that God is a problem-solving God. Yesterday, on July 7th, 2022, we had our Winning Circle book club. And obviously, I planned it the way that I planned my other lessons because teaching is what I do. But I knew the Lord was going to move mightily and it would, it would be prophetic. I knew it. And so we went, we gathered on Zoom, and from start to finish, the Holy Spirit showed up like with fire. And the anointing of God was released. And the families on the platform, they were blessed. Now, I'm still trying to just process everything because I saw the power of God move upon every family. But specifically, there was a couple that was there, a husband and a wife. And it was glorious what the Lord did for them. And it reminded me of 2 Kings 2 and verse 19. And so the Bible says, one day the leaders of the town of Jericho went to see Elisha. And they said, we have a problem, my Lord. This town is located in pleasant surroundings. This town is well suited, as you can see. But the water is bad and the land is unproductive. And so as we were looking at the characters in the story and, and, and really trying to understand, you know, the, the, the plot and the conflict and using the Bible verses and our own experiences to, to um, analyze, you know, the book, the, the people were so blessed and you can just sense that the Holy Spirit was solving the problems that they showed up with yesterday. And so our God is a problem solving God and he has created us to be problem solvers as well. He gives us the tools. He gives us the revelation. He gives us the wisdom, the knowledge and understanding. And so in verse 20, it says, the prophet said, bring me a new bowl. And so God gives us different things to use to solve the problem, but it's all God. And so God used a novel, just two chapters of a story to bless his people. And it was just like Elisha using the new bowl and pouring the salt into the bowl and pouring the, the salt into the water. It was all, all God who was doing it. And so God gave us the idea of the Winning Circle Book Club. And it turned into a whole revival. And the Bible said in 2 Kings 2.21 that he poured the, the salt in the water. And he prophesied, I have healed this water and never again will it cause death or make the land unproductive. And so those who showed up, knowing that this is a prophetic ministry, those who showed up with, that, with whatever problem they had, God showed up as well and began to heal the land, began to heal the water, began to heal the marriages, began to heal the people's bodies, began to heal their spirit, began to heal their souls, began to heal their families, began to heal their lives. And I'm just so blown away by that. And in verse 22, 2 Kings 2, 2, 2. It says, and the water has remained pure to this day, according to the word Elisha had spoken. And because the novel was written to glorify God, because we showed up together on one accord, touching and agreeing, God, God showed up and showed out and blessed the people to lead the coom, victorious ones. God is solving your problem. Begin to cry out to him. And he's going to give you the revelation. God is going to wow you. And it's going to be a miracle. Go ahead and humble yourself and cry out to God. In the name of Jesus, God wants to meet with you. 
God wants to meet with you. And I have to go back and listen to the recording from last night. But one thing I remember is that God said, I have never let you go. I have never let, I have never let you go. I've never left you. I would never leave you nor forsake you. I've always and will always hold on to you. Jacob said, I will never let you go. I won't let you go until you bless me. God says, I will never let you go. I'm holding on to you and I'm healing the bad water of your situation. And I'm giving you healing water right now. I love you and I'm restoring you in the name of Jesus. Cry out to me now. Talk to me and I will show you great and mighty things that you don't know. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. And for those of you, you want to get a copy of the book, I Am Not Me, it's at my website, airingcircle.com. And we will be meeting again for our second meeting for the Women's Circle Book Club on the 21st of July. So in two weeks, we'll meet again. And it's, it's the way that the Holy Spirit had us to, to, to navigate and to deliver the message of the gospel through this meeting. It was profound. It was glorious. It was exceptional. And God gets all the glory. It was, I knew it wasn't going to be a regular book club. It was going to be an encounter at the well. It was going to be a valley of dry bones where the bones had to stand up as a vast army for the Lord with the breath of life in their bodies. Whenever we meet, we bring the Holy Spirit, we bring the fire and families are delivered because of God. We're just vessels, we're just the vessels. We're just the vessels, we're just the, 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 the new bowl that God has placed, the, the salt of his word, the salt of, his, uh, of the blood of Jesus. And, and, and he's using us to bless other people. God gets all the glory. He gets all the glory. And if you do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, accept him now. He loves you and he will never let you go. In the name of Jesus, amen.